Goldbridge and we are live for England against Slovenia. The final group game, uh, England with a real opportunity to finish third. Answers on a postcard. I thought we would play the Netherlands even if we win, but apparently if we win by three goals, we don't play the Netherlands. I've got no bloody idea how it works if we win this group and we win 3-0. Um, I don't understand it at all. Uh, if you do, let us know in the chat tonight. Please, please, please let us know because it's just uh, the, the, it's just stupid at this point how um, we've got this scenario with third place where you just don't know who, who you're going to play because it's, you know, you need a bloody A-level in um, figuring it out. So uh, England could be playing Netherlands who finished third in Group D. But if we win 3-0, we might play someone else. Could be Costa Rica, as somebody said earlier but uh, we'll figure it out I'm sure I've said it before so far in this tournament we have shat all over it like we've been the worst team to watch in this tournament arguably with Czech Republic boring into Trippier that's a good ball Rice back oh this is lovely play <laughs> offside shit I'll tell you what that would have been a great goal it was a training ground goal. It would have been absolutely brilliant. That would have been a great... Watch this. Trippier. Foden's miles off. It was such, It was a great move. But um, I suspect the Slovenian right back knew he was offside. It was a great play. Great play. Man United, holiday camp under Oli comes to mind. These players are not doing anything on the training pitch. They've got to take confidence from that, Dane. You got to take confidence from that goal. You know, yes, it was offside. It was a bit like Bump Gartner's uh, against Austria. It was miles offside, but the fundamentals of it were really good. Quick one-touch passing. Defenses can't deal with it. And Armin says you've still got about forty years left, Mark. Surely enough to see England win a trophy. Yeah, but you know what? So frustrating is you watch a team like Austria with Ranić, and you see a coach. I mean, Austria haven't got the players that England... It's, it's the prime example. Austria haven't got the players that England have got, but they've got a coach who can get the best out of them. We've got brilliant players, but we've got a coach who gets the worst out of them. And and that's, that's the couple of sentences. Austria have got a limited squad, but a coach who can get the very best out of them. We've got an amazing squad who brings out the worst in them. And that's on the FA. Goal for Denmark. Rasmus has scored, apparently. Five used to like would be better. Trent, Walker, Stones, Gwehi, Gordon, says Christopher. Um, England will win, says Eva. Wow. Well, I mean, I walked into this game, Eva, expecting us to win. And I still think we can win. But the problem with Serbia, we won against Serbia. We drew against Denmark. It's, it's not results that are the problem. It's the performances. I mean, this is meant to be a response to criticism. That's my concern. And it can all click. We know that. But the response to criticism is this shit. You know, this is like shitting your bed and being in big trouble. And then the next night you shit it again. You know, they've absolutely played dreadful. But I don't understand this. Like, Trippier... Oh, that was a good cross to the back post. Kane doesn't get onto it. I got mixed up with Gallagher and Kane. I thought Gallagher was Kane and I didn't know it was on the back post. Yeah, he should be scoring that. Why is he not getting on the end of that? It's a good cross. Well, the referee has broken the record here. We, we're hearing from the referee. He's blown for half time. It's a world record. The referee has blown for half time on 45 minutes and one second. He's basically saying there was added time, but I'm so fucking bored. If I carry on, I'll go into a coma and I won't wake up. I need to get some coffee. We're stopping on 45 seconds. 45 seconds and one, 45 minutes and one second he blows the whistle. Piss take. Thanks for the follow, Marlis, and TikTok. Well, get your comments in, everybody, because... And that, that's, the, that's the important thing to remember. We've been bloody awful in this tournament, and we're not playing good teams. What would have happened, what would have happened to England if we'd have been in Group D against France, Austria, and the Netherlands? Oh, my God. 
this group was a good group. A very good group. It's my fault. Charlie says it's Mark's fault. Every time I've seen Cole Palmer, he's got to be tucking inside. So you've now got Foden, Palmer, Kane, Bellingham, all who want to play central. And one natural right back. And one, one natural fullback in Kyle Walker. Needs to get Watkins on and stretch it. Donnie says, Mark, you're like a petulant child throwing your toys out. The I know, I know, I'm very spoiled. It's, it's been, I don't know what I'm moaning about. Solihull Moors would do a better job than this squad, says Parrot. Solihull Moors' manager would do better than Southgate. He actually tries to play football. Get Watkins. I can't believe he's kept Kane on. He ain't fit. He's not played well. I would give Harry Kane a 5 out of 10. 6 being average, I'd give him a 5. And yet he's still on the pitch in the 82nd minute. Why is Ivan Tony there as well? What what is he doing there? Like, why is he there? What what's the point? Um, I'm glad Ineos get to see the state of Southgate, says SK. I think this year would have been sank sectioned if we'd get gone for him. Messiah says, How much did Southgate get paid from Slovenia? I predict in Southgate's match reaction, he's gonna say that we miss Bobby Charlton. Sir Bobby. We miss Sir Bobby. We've never replaced Sir Bobby. Which we haven't, but he played in the 60s, mate. I mean, Slovenia haven't... The scary thing is, Slovenia haven't even tried to attack in the second half. They've literally parked the bus. So it's defence against attack. Oh, he's coming on! Anthony Gordon's coming on! He's alive! Gordon's alive! For Foden. So we're putting Bellingham back at 10 now. Again, Foden's just another absolute fool guy, isn't he? I feel bad for Phil Foden, and he's a Man City player. I don't normally feel bad for them. We create... I mean, look, we've had three shots on target, right? Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Cole Palmer, straight at the keeper. Four shots. West side. West side. We've had four shots. You can't even get pissed on four shots. That's how bad England have been. You, If you were playing a drinking game with England on shots, you'd be sober. Southgate is slower than a sloth's fart, says Marco. Living in Japan and waking up at 4am for most England games, haven't stayed awake for a whole game. Just nap for the last 15 min minutes. Boring, says Smithy. It's just There's just nothing there, is there? There's nothing there. It really is shit. It, it, there's just no, there's no patterns of play at all. It's like, it's like getting the world's best artists in a room, giving them a blank canvas and saying, I want you to pick, I want you to paint this vase, right? And they all start doing it in their own way because they've all got their own vision. And Gareth Southgate pulls his pants down and just shits on the canvas. It's absolute rubbish. Boo, you bloody boring prat. Absolute shit. Absolute shit. I'm sorry, I just didn't even expect that myself tonight. Absolute crap. Rubbish. And do we top the group? Do we top the group? Denmark, nil-nil. I think we do top the group still. Yeah, we're still top of the group at the moment, unless there's a late goal for Denmark. That's absolute shit. It's absolute shit. I can't wait to do my match reaction. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna end this stream in a minute. I'm gonna straight into it, and I'm gonna unload. I just don't know what to do with the title. You know, he, he should be sacked for that shit. Absolute crap. Three games in the Euros and we've been crap. I think this is the worst tournament I've ever watched England play. For the players that we've got to be shitting out that, it's rubbish. Absolute shit. I mean, I thought we'd beat the Netherlands if we play them. They'll beat us. They've, got, they've actually got people who can score goals. 
Oh, Breach, that's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you never miss a clip again. In fact, smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.